It was the hottest summer since records began in 1976, and Susan Donahue stayed home from her nursing shift because she felt unwell. She came home to her downstairs flat here at 45 Downleys near Clifton, but it wasn't until the morning when her partner found she'd been bludgeoned to death and sexually assaulted. DCI Julie Mackay is now leading the investigation and following advancements in DNA technology, Avon and Somerset Police now have a full profile of her killer. This picture here is the window, which is where we think our offender has broken in. So you can see that the ground level's up here and how they've gone down. And that's a slightly um, closer picture of it. The shoes, these shoes belong to somebody. They were eliminated, but they were the right sort of size and shape for a footprint image that was on the, in fact, here it is our little footprint image that's on the windowsill. So although those aren't the offender shoes, it just helps us to piece together how does it all fit. This is in Susan's bedroom, sitting room, it's a bed set, and there's the two gloves um, that I was talking about earlier that were left that we believe come from the offender. And then images here of our two gloves again, so they're leather on the inside, like driving gloves, and then they're um, like the string material on the back. Now, she was assaulted with a truncheon um, that was at the scene. We think that she had that there already, that, that it was brought by the offender. And this is a picture of it here, and BD refers to Bristol Docks, and that's the 19. So at the time, they did an enormous amount of investigation into trying to identify where that come from and never did. But that's what was used.